What's up everyone? Falcon here. Thanks for checking out Grindforce Gaming. Today I'm coming at you in Super Mario RPG with a guide for how to get the Lazy Shell. This is actually two items. There's the Lazy Shell weapon, which is the best weapon in the game for Mario, and there's the Lazy Shell armor, which can be worn by anybody in your party and offers the highest defense in the game. You're definitely going to want both of these items before you tackle Smithy or any of the post-game bosses. Before we get going, please remember to hit that like button if this video helps you out, and subscribe to Grindforce Gaming for all of our newest videos. You can also join us on our Discord to chat with us anytime. I'll put a link to that down in the description. It's a really fun, positive community, and we'd love to see you there. To get the Lazy Shell, we'll need the Seed and the Fertilizer. We'll be able to get the Seed naturally as we play through the story. Toward the end of Bean Valley, you'll need to defeat a Mega Smilax before you can climb up to Nimbus Land. Once the Mega Smilax is defeated, Bezo will panic and run away, and he'll drop what looks like a note. If you go interact with it, you'll discover that it's actually a seed, and you can take it with you. You can't do anything with it yet, but carry it with you as you play through the events in Nimbus Land. Play through the story until you complete the boss fight against Queen Valentina. After defeating her, head to a house on the eastern corner of Nimbus Land. First, pop inside to find Krako looting the place. He'll drop an echo signal ring on his way out, which can help you find hidden chests. But instead of using that item, I recommend checking out the video that I just released on the Grind Force Gaming channel where I walk through exactly how to find every hidden chest. I'll put a card for that up top in case you missed it. After leaving the house that Krakow was in, walk forward against the edge of the cloud outside until you find a hidden walkway in the sky. Go to the end of that hidden walkway and you'll find Bezo, the shy guy who works for Queen Valentina. In return for letting him go, he'll give Mario the fertilizer. Now that you have both the seed and the fertilizer in hand, it's time to go to Rosetown to meet the gardener. Back in Rosetown, walk all the way back to the northeast edge of the map to find a new pathway that wasn't there before. Take it to find the gardener's house. Once you go inside, the gardener will explain that he's spent many years seeking the legendary seed and fertilizer for the giant planter he has in his house, but he hasn't had any luck. Once he notices that you have the seed, the gardener flips out and goes on an excited rant for a while. At the end of it, you can choose to give him the seed. As soon as you do, he notices that you also have the fertilizer and proceeds to go off on another excited rant about that. When he's finished, give him the fertilizer. With both the seed and the fertilizer in hand, he'll go to the planter in the back of his house and plant the seed. Then he'll use the special fertilizer on it. And after a few seconds, the seed will sprout into a giant beanstalk that grows up through his chimney and up to the sky. Climb the stalk to reach a special cloud with two floating treasure chests. They both contain a lazy shell, but one of them is a weapon for Mario and the other is armor that can be worn by anybody. Both are awesome. Quick spoiler warning, as I explain the Lazy Shell's stats, I'm going to be showing footage of my battles, including footage of my battle with Culex in his final form, the post-game battle. Just wanted to give a quick heads up in case any of you consider that to be spoiler territory. With that said, let me explain how great these items are. The Lazy Shell should be equipped for Mario right away. It's his best weapon. The damage output is randomized a little bit. So the base attack power of the Lazy Shell is 90, but it has a 40 point differential in either direction. So the final attack damage that it does can be anywhere from 50 to 130. The actual damage it does will depend on the attack stats of your Mario, but the Lazy Shell is capable of the highest normal attack damage in the game. You'll really enjoy using it. The Lazy Shell armor is a bit unusual. It has the highest base defense in the game by a lot. It boosts defense and magic defense, each by 127. No other armor anywhere in the game gives you better than plus 50, so this is an incredible amount of defense. On top of that, it prevents every status ailment, so no falling asleep, no getting turned into a mushroom or a scarecrow, and it protects against elemental attacks. The Lazy Shell armor practically makes a character invincible, but it has a downside. In exchange for all that defense, your attack, magic attack, and speed all take a hit of minus 50 points. Since it will basically nullify your attack potential, I recommend equipping the Lazy Shell armor only for tough boss battles. Putting it on Peach makes the most sense because you'll be using her primarily for healing anyway, rather than attacking. With both Lazy Shells, you'll be able to take on the tough enemies like Smithy, Culex, and the other post-game battles. Thanks for watching, and have fun using the Lazy Shell. If this video helps you out, please remember to give it a like before you leave, and make sure to subscribe to Grindforce Gaming for all of our newest content. 
There will be a link in the description to our Discord channel as well, where you can chat with me and the rest of the Grindforce gaming community anytime. Really positive, active community with lots of great people. We'd love to see you there. Until next time, I'm Falcon. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and enjoy the grind.